Good morning, this is Victoria Chapman, and today um, I'm gonna be er interviewing the Italian um, international curator, Cintia Penna, and she'll be joining us shortly. We're gonna talk about um, the art world, uh, her current project, Time, and also um, her dream, her dream views of what the art, wor art world should look like in, in, her, in, her, uh, in her world. Um, so I'm just waiting for Shintia to join us. It'll just be a moment. Thanks so much for joining. It'll just be a moment, just sending Shintia an invitation. Okay, there she is. Hi. Thank you for inviting me. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Victoria. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Just fixing the camera a little bit. So nice to see you. Thank you for uh, joining you me this morning. You? Yes. Okay, thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. Um, this is Cynthia Pena, international curator. And um, I, do you want to give a little introduction of yourself, of what you do in, in Italy yes. and Los Angeles for our viewers? Yes, okay. Uh, I'm Cynthia Pena and I am the uh, art director of a cultural institution, Art 1307, 1307, that we founded, uh, me and my husband, uh, as collectors, uh, but also as uh, philanthropists, uh, we founded in 2007. And um, since then, we are organizing exhibitions of uh, Italian artists here in Los Angeles and uh, mostly uh, American artists in, in, in Italy and we also uh, established the residency for artists in Italy in Naples specifically and uh, just to create a sort of bridge between two cultures uh, that are very very far away because the distance uh, is very uh, a very big distance and uh, mm, going also and uh, mm, uh, frequenting also art fairs and international art world mm -hmm. we noticed <coughs> that uh, uh, Californian culture and Californian art was not so famous and not so uh, known in Italy and the contrary, the contemporary art, except for the blue chips, obviously, we are talking about not the blue chips, but the um, uh, Italian artists were not known in California. And so we started to introduce this sort of exchange of um, artists just to make the two cultures join together a little bit. That's Great. all. And we, we are doing it for um, 10 years, so more than 10 years now. Excellent, excellent. I, I know during your lockdown, you're in Los Angeles currently, and, um, yes. and you're very busy all the time, and you started a new project during this time, and I believe it's called Time, and I'd, I'd love you to share about that, what your vision was and, and what you hoped for. Yes, obviously, uh, it was a strange, very strange uh, experience uh, for all of us. Uh, suddenly, whilst we were all uh, talking and uh, going to the art fairs and the openings and the exhibitions and mm -hmm. everything, suddenly everything was suspended. And we started uh, to experiment something that obviously in our life we have never lived before. Mm -hmm. uh, lockdown, seclusion, confinement, mm -hmm. and the only possibility to get in touch with 
with people, with friends, with family, was through mechanical objects like mm -hmm. computer, mm -hmm. like telephone, phone, and all, all mechanical objects. And above all, the, the, the passing of time was mm -hmm. something secluded in uh, at home, confined at home. We have never experienced, or our generations, uh, many generations have never experienced the World War II. So the, the real uh, war or the seclusion uh, in, uh, in a shelter or something like this. And uh, above all, uh, the global situation, because it was, I was here in, uh, in Los Angeles, but I, I called my, my, my parents, my mother or my friends in Italy, and we were all stuck in, uh, at home. Uh, so the global experience uh, was something that I, at a certain moment I, I started to think about. And above all, the perception of time, because we have never, usually we have the perception of time which is scheduled in appointments, uh, going out, coming down. Uh, so we were used before to have a sort of scheduled day organized. Mm -hmm. Whereas now we had the full time, 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. open in a certain mm -hmm. way and in the seclusion of home. So I started to, to think to these strange and maybe distorted, I don't know, perception of time. And as I work in the art world, I start to, to think to the artist. And I ask the artist to, um, to think about this theme that is not the usual time as a philosophical uh, issue uh, or um, a theme, but, uh, but is a philosophical team connected to the experience of confinement and mm -hmm. isolation. So we started to talk with some artists and the idea came out from this to, uh, to me and my husband and we uh, asked all the, the, the artists to participate in giving us their uh, thoughts uh, impressions, uh, drawing, uh, writings, uh, paintings, uh, photographs, uh, video, what they, um, they could produce mm -hmm. uh, in a moment of confinement. Mm -hmm. Many artists uh, answered immediately at the first, uh, um, uh, the first answer was, yes, but I am always confined when I, when I have to, uh, to paint. And uh, sometimes okay. I, uh, I be confined for a week, uh, for a whole week, uh, painting and uh, concentrating. But my answer was, yes, I agree with you. You are used to a confinement, but this one is, is slightly different different because uh, in the normal way in the normal way of living you are confined but if you need a brush you need a a, 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 a paint you need to uh, get out to breathe and to have a cup of coffee you can do it and right. so you you have the perception of freedom. Uh -huh. Now you don't have this perception of freedom because if you want to get out because you need a brush, you, d you can't go out uh, in general. And if you g go out, uh, you find the, the shop closed and nobody is in the street. So yeah. it's something completely different. And this distorted perception of time intrigued me so much. And we started with, the, uh, with collecting everything that day by day um, artists sent to us. Okay. And we arrived at the end, we finished this collecting in a certain way, finished collecting at the, um, at the beginning of May. Mm 
And uh, uh, so it was uh, March and April. And we had different answers from people from is from people from israel from japan from italy uh, from spain it wow. was so nice because uh, all friends or artists that we uh, and some artists introduced me to some other artists and <laughs> they arrived <laughs> and they sent their writings for instance, uh, it was also an experience uh, for many artists to write. I got mm -hmm. a lot of writings from the artists mm -hmm. uh, together uh, with uh, drawings or paintings, so the photographs, obviously, uh, not the real uh, artwork, but what they produced, they shot it and they sent me uh, photographs. Um, and uh, But also together with uh, writings mm -hmm. and it was fantastic uh, to discover some of the artists as poets mm -hmm. i discovered two people that i i called them and i said who is the poet who wrote this piece because i have to publish in the book and the answer was it me is me and i said oh my god i discovered the poet uh, was so nice to discover also other possibilities uh, you yeah. know yeah. <laughs> Maybe the artist uh, started to um, discover other possibilities in right. uh, their right. production. Yeah, that's fabulous. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, the introspection and, and like you say, them not able to get materials and, and also just the, the perhaps stress or panic of their home or household or the news or things like that is all, I would imagine, very impacted on on their journey of what they want to create, you know, and, and in some artists, I think they've created new series, new, new works in this period. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Like you say, they've detoured into maybe adding text into their artwork. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, it happened uh, uh, to many artists to discover other way of ex expressing themselves, right. even uh, in the same uh, body of works, uh, for instance, uh, not only between poetry and uh, painting, uh -huh. but also inside the paintings, or maybe uh, from sculptures, uh, uh, one artist of, uh, who is a sculptor mm -hmm. gave me a, a, um, uh, a photograph mm -hmm. with a text. So yeah. completely different way yeah. of expression. Pressing. And it is extremely interesting. I want to show you. This is the book. Oh, great. <laughs> yes. I love it. And it is very thick uh -huh. because it is made of 172 pages uh -huh. because the, the response from the artist, uh, we got... It's just stopping for a minute. I think it'll come back. There we go. So intellectuals who mm -hmm. answered and wrote something also because my purpose and um, our purpose mm -hmm. was to freeze this moment inside the history in the mm -hmm. in a global history because this is an experience uh, that i i hope we we won't repeat again because obviously my wish <laughs> is to 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 come back to normal uh, mm -hmm. to the normal life so the reflection on these issues mm -hmm. and these problems uh, we got a, the environment which started to live in a wonderful way and our feelings and our relationships and our personal and physical contact only um, um, completely lost so 
uh, you know, the balance between the environment that is growing and uh, living beautifully and then expressing beautifully. Uh, we discovered dolphins uh, in, uh, in Venice, in the canal of Venice. Yeah. Venice, Italy. <laughs> Venice, Italy, we mean. So do dolphins in the, um, in the Gulf of Naples in Italy, and they were jumping, you know. So the environment, the development, uh, development of, of a wonderful environment without pollution, but uh, on the contrary, our seclusion. So this is an experience uh, that we have to freeze in the history and to, uh, to give an... Uh, Mm -hmm. to live as a legacy to future gen generation. That's mm -hmm. why my husband and me, we decided to publish and to, to make a book because maybe, yes, also the online book could be uh, interesting, but I, uh, I am the older generation. I like people and I like to touch physical things like paper. Mm -hmm. And so we we decided to to publish a book to collect mm -hmm. everything in a book and uh, to leave to mm -hmm. as a legacy. Wonderful. This where where can we get the book? Pardon? Where can we get the book? Uh, we we can get the book uh, on the blurb, uh, which is the, uh, the maybe I have it here. Anyway, Blurb is a um, uh, American uh, is an American uh, uh, company, okay. uh, which mm, uh, which is online, and right. uh, the the name is Time, like Fine. this. Okay. Fine. The ISBN is. Okay. This <laughs> I'll post it. I'll find By out. And I'll yes, post you it post it. Yeah. Well, and uh, is available on Blurb and. Uh -huh. Above all, we decided that half the price that the people pay uh, for uh, getting the book is donated in uh, charity. And oh. this is the most important thing that mm -hmm. we wanted also to do, to mm -hmm. participate in this moment. Because, and we are still focusing on uh, which um, beneficiary will mm -hmm. be. It depends also on the amount of money that we will be able to collect and uh, from the sale of the, uh, the book, because the book is on sale, but the sale is for, uh, for charity. Right. Uh, we, we want to participate, and above all, uh, we are focusing uh, um, towards scientific uh, institutions, uh, uh -huh. institutions uh, of uh, um, science uh, research. Right. Uh, for the disease, oh, uh, great. because great. for the contagion uh, disease, because I think that scientific research is the most important thing that right. we can do, and we have to help scientific research, mm -hmm. uh, research not uh, um, around weapons or uh, some uh, mass destroying weapons, but above all, to save lives. Right. So maybe would be an American or an Italian mm -hmm. institutions for scientific research or an hospital, mm -hmm. something which is useful for the health of people. Fantastic. So, Half of the price, obviously, half price is given to Blurb because they produce the yeah. book and so they they are paid. But half of the price that everybody pays is will be donated in charity. Okay. Well, <coughs> thank you for that. What about, um, I know you've had some other projects happening um, during this lockdown. And um, what... What can you tell me about those? They've obviously been postponed to some extent. Um, what can you share? Uh, I uh, I had uh, the um, uh, two or three pro um, project going on, but obviously suspended and. Uh, um, 
uh, uh, we don't know uh, uh, when we can repropose them, but maybe uh, between uh, this fall and next year, early mm-hmm. next year. In Italy, um, for instance, there was a, a wonderful project by Yuri Boico, the photo- American photographer mm-hmm. living here in Los Angeles, who was invited by me uh, to, to make an installation, a site specific installation of his uh, huge uh, um, uh, artworks and photographs uh, at the uh, railway high speed uh, station of Afragola, who is a very uh, a, a small town uh, close to Naples, uh, Italy. But uh, this station will be uh, uh, was uh, projected and realized by the huge architect uh, Za Hadid. Wow. And, uh, Fantastic. Yes, it is a, a fantastic an uh, architectural um, work, and we uh, decided uh, the the um, uh, city hall of Afragola invited me to uh, to to have some site specific installation from international artists who talk about connection um, of people, uh, mm-hmm. obviously, and uh, con- uh, interchange of people because the station in itself, a railway station mm-hmm. is a, uh, in itself is a place where people interact with each other or they, uh, they, they, they travel. And so uh, everything about uh, travel, about connection of people or interacting and all migration and also the transformation of the single person through the migration and uh, the the experience of a journey. So um, this will be done next year. And uh, so the same was a project uh, um, after Yuri Boiko, another um, Japanese artist, uh, Yasunari Nat- Nakagomi, had to come mm-hmm. um, to show his paintings uh, focused on uh, the, um, the landscape uh, uh, seen uh, through the speed of the, the train, wow. you know, yeah. and they are paintings. Uh, Then there was a workshop in a um, a fantastic uh, hotel um, belonging to a great Italian collector in Sorrento, the uh, Art Hotel Gran Paradiso in uh, Sorrento. There was a workshop of uh, six international artists Mm -hmm. uh, from Germany, um, United States, uh, Italy and uh, um, Japan mm-hmm. uh, in this hotel and uh, we um, organized the workshop. Everything has been uh, postponed uh, mm-hmm. at the moment uh, and also so we are waiting for better times but obviously we have to overcome this situation. Yeah. This yeah. situation will be or we will overcome because right. obviously we cannot live secluded uh, for all our, the rest of our lives. That's right. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing that. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be negative or anything like that, but I, I, I want in our interview together that we did on, you know, on paper, um, we yeah. talked about, uh, your comments about the art world and I, I don't want to get into like the speculation of what's the art world going to be. Cause everybody has a different, a different take on it. But as a curator who exhibits artists in museums, I'm curious to see, to hear what you think um, museums in the future might do or uh, react or, you know, just what do you think they should do in the future? Absolutely. They, I believe in, in art. I believe in museums and mostly I believe in the personal contact between the viewer and the artwork. Uh-huh. So, first of all, I absolutely uh, think that they uh, all museum have to reopen, and I know that in Italy they are starting to to, to reopen, for instance, and uh, uh, maybe some 
little uh, change uh, in uh, in terms of uh, reservation uh, in terms of access mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, maybe for instance i suggested uh, to someone uh, to um, uh, to keep temporary exhibitions uh, in museums for a longer time so right. not right. no more three months only but at at least six months so people can make a reservation online mm -hmm. they have a longer time even people who come for a few days in italy for vacation for instance so they have a limited time and they have to go to museums they can reserve in advance like a flight ticket that you um, oh, yeah, reserve in yeah. advance yeah so together with the flight ticket you can also reserve in advance your presence in the museum um, uh, archaeological museum of naples for mm -hmm. instance in uh, that in in the, that day and uh, for instance another suggestion is to keep museums open longer time for um, at least uh, at, uh, um, till eight o'clock in the evening so people after work they can also go uh, to the museum first and then back to uh, back home it is possible mm -hmm. but obviously uh, uh, yes i agree with all the uh, virtual tours mm -hmm and all uh, virtual uh, things uh, that all of us have done in this period right. but obviously uh, we can uh, we can have a, a a site a general site yeah. uh, of an exhibition uh, even uh, a, a a nice and um, uh, specific site of an exhibition online and a virtual tour but the personal um, relationship with an artwork is something completely different and yeah. uh, it must go on yeah thank you i'm so glad to hear that i'm so glad i know um yeah. back to the to your your comment about buying tickets you know acquiring tickets ahead of time i know um Pompidou Center was starting to do that. The Pompidou in Paris was starting to do that. Um, virtual tours and augmented reality. And also um, you can, you know, you can book a hotel, <laughs> you know, and other tours around Paris, which I think is really, really wonderful. I think this is a time where everybody's sort of regrouping. How can we get, um, how can we get more people to the museum? How, you know, in the future, it's always a constant, um challenge i think for museums in general how can we get the public and now with this new um addition of covid 19 um i think it's going to really help you know just like the artists seeing things differently the museums will see things differently i believe yeah it's, I uh, hope. yeah Yes, sure. But I think that people uh, can be invited virtually, for instance, mm -hmm. using uh, social uh, media like Instagram and uh, whatever. Yeah. But uh, a lot of museums, uh, they are already doing uh, this, yeah, yeah. Uh, this on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, Twitter, whatever. Mm -hmm. All the Italian uh, um, uh, great museums are doing it. Maybe much more publicity um for instance i see the difference uh, maybe it is a, a an economic uh, uh, issue that they mm -hmm. cannot face but i see uh, 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 i during a, a movie on uh, on a series or a serial uh, wo watching television mm -hmm. uh, the movie is continu uh, continuously stopped by uh, publicity advertisement Right. But advertisement of cars, of um, uh, food, you know, of uh, uh, even uh, uh, drugs and medicine or uh, something like this, but never advertisement of art. Right. 
Yeah. This can be something because, in my opinion, they are all subliminal um, projection, yeah. subliminal. So, in a certain way, even though people at looking at the serial uh, police, uh, serial uh, um, program, for right. instance, or p- police movie or something like this, even people not interested in the art at a certain point with a subliminal uh, um, uh, uh, pushing of uh, uh, ideas, uh, message, uh, it didn't come out, a subliminal message, go to the, the museum, uh, go and see art, at the end, people go. So maybe, I don't know, it will be too difficult for museums to pay for the um, this kind of advertisement on television because it costs a lot of money. But imagine the world uh, with uh, plenty of these messages <laughs> instead of uh, how, how much I have to eat, <laughs> how, many, how many hamburgers I have to eat. And instead of this, uh, how many uh, art exhibitions I have to eat <laughs> would be much better for our uh, minds and our brains. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so true. It's really, really true. I am true. joking, but it is not, not only a joke. It is partly yeah. true. In, because in a, we are composed as human beings, we are composed of a physical and a, a brain and a mental uh, um, aspect. So we have to feed both. Right. <laughs> you know? I, I think it's really true. Um, I, I think it's really, really true about that. Well, based on that one concept, um, what else? In your ideal world, dream, dream world, would you like the art world to exist? How would you like it to exist? Like, you know, if you had a crystal ball and you, and you could say, okay, now I want the art world to be like this. Forget about everything we just talked about. Your dreams as a little girl looking at art, if you were a director of the whole entire art world, what would you, what, what would you think? What would you want? Victoria, uh, this is a big question because there are two aspects uh, as ever and uh, um, two aspects also in the art. There is the economic commercial aspect Mm -hmm. for everybody Mm -hmm. and there is the ideal philosophical and obviously connected to the real production of art. Mm So I understand that museums have to leave. Uh, Artists, first of all, they have to eat and live and uh, make also their family to live. Mm -hmm. Uh, So they need the economic aspect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it is very tough to to make them live together in a nice way. Mm-hmm. Because in my opinion, uh, nowadays, there are, it is too much towards uh, the economic aspect. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are too many fares, uh, too many uh, expenses mm-hmm. uh, uh, around surrounding the art world and surrounding also the single uh, um, art piece. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, much less, I am going, I am frequenting obviously the art fairs and the mm-hmm. biennials uh, and all these kind of uh, the, the exhibitions. I am finding there is all over the world, uh, there is a slightly lack of a research, pure intellectual and philosophical research and mm-hmm. practical research in the art, and much more this economic aspect, commercial aspect yes. of the art. Yes. 
So too many fairs, uh, too many for, uh, uh, fairs mean, means boots and the uh, rental of a boot is uh, too high expenses uh, for uh, galleries, uh, for, uh, um, for artists, uh, for uh, uh, cultural institutions, for everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, transportation, uh, packaging, all, uh, everything is uh, growing, uh, growing, uh, growing in terms of expenses. Mm -hmm. Obviously, prices of the art has to rise up. But at the end, we have the, uh, we have normal people, the collectors who are uh, struggling with the economic world and economic incomes. So maybe they are not invited to spend a lot of money. Yeah. There are priorities in our life, mm -hmm. priorities of expenses in each family. Mm -hmm. The uh, middle class has been almost destroyed all over the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm since uh, uh, 2008, mm -hmm. more or less, yeah. with the economic crisis. So I think that it is time to enhance the pure uh, ideal research, philosophical and mm -hmm. practical research mm -hmm. uh, in the art world, and to slow down a little bit all the prices of the commercial and economic uh, aspect of mm -hmm. the art. Mm -hmm. This is my ideal. I don't know if it is practical or not. Don't Thank ask me to be a, uh, an accountant or <laughs> a, a, uh, I am a curator. So uh -huh. obviously I, uh, I am interested in the pure uh, artistic research. Wonderful. I, yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that hundred percent. Um, research and um, investigation and just meaning and going back to the whole truth of why we make art what is the reason and 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 also gender you know men for men for women for for those that are they you know the whole thing let's go back to the meaning mm -hmm. of making mm -hmm. art and not just um, producing it and selling it and mm -hmm. and these all these I mean, art schools, you know, I mean, just education, education. everything. Um, I always believe that, you know, you can't create an artist in an art school. You know, an artist is there. You just have to sort of water them and let them grow and, and show them, give them techniques and things like that. But you can't just um, go to art school and become an artist. It's much more than that. Much more, much more than, yeah. uh, than these. And above all uh, is experimentation, also yes. the experiments. Uh, um, I find that, that in, in general, uh, here in the um, United States, there is a, a big interest in uh, experimental uh, experiments, uh, experiments uh, with the materials. And mm -hmm. a lot of artists engage themselves in experimenting with materials. Uh, whereas the classical uh, uh, Italian world is much less interested in materials, mm -hmm. but they are trying, uh, they are going on. I find that mm, we have a duty towards new generations yes. and young people. Uh, I really, uh, maybe because of my age, <laughs> I am not, so, I, I have no nephews, uh, no, uh, no children, no nephew uh, and no grandchildren. Uh, so I, uh, I am not very, very extremely close uh, to uh, young generation, but I believe in them a lot. And I would like to see um, the cultural aspect enhanced and increased in young generation. And um, I am seeing that there is, in general, uh, there is a lack of information, but good cultural information, mm -hmm. not the information through Facebook or yeah. social media. Yeah. I mean the old style information uh, through the school. Mm -hmm. School 
all over the world is going a little bit weird and a little bit waving uh, in a strange way. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, culture is slowing down. It is a fact. Is not a old woman who are talking. They are. Um, I I asked also to young people, mm -hmm. and they said, "No, this is not in our program." For instance, I I asked to my um, uh, to my cousin. I have a cousin who is twenty one, mm -hmm. and I asked her. Um, she came uh, here last year in the uh, United States and uh, we were talking uh, uh, in the car. We, we touched the argument of the Kennedys, for instance, okay. the, the president, uh, or Bob Kennedy was killed here in Los Angeles, so I, I talked to her. And uh, where I was talking... Uh, citing the Kennedys as a normal thing for me, I, uh, um, I asked there, excuse me, but have you, have you studied at school history in uh, the program of history last year in, uh, la, uh, la, sorry, last century, the 60s of last century mm -hmm. was included in your program. Do you know who the Kennedys are, where? And she said, it was not included in our program of history. We don't know anything. I heard my mother and father talking about them. And I learned by, from my mother and father, mm -hmm. but not from the school. This is something absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. The lack of culture. Yeah. The lack of culture of new generations, uh, among, uh, above all, uh, in the field of uh, history, history of art of last century, just last century. N uh, we have just left the, the other century, 1900, yeah. and they don't know anything. Yeah. So, mm, I... What I can say is a lack of culture yeah, in this yeah, moment yeah, all yeah. around the world, not only in Italy, it is the same in Italy, in Germany, in, uh, um, mm -hmm. in France, in the United States, it is all over the world. I understand completely. <laughs> I have a daughter that's uh, 25. I understand ah. completely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, well, Okay, so I, I, that's such a big topic, um, and I appreciate you really bringing that to the forefront. Um, we're, uh, before, we, before we end, I wanted to ask you one last question, and that was, yeah. as a curator, um, as an art historian, as an art restorer, um, and presenter of art, what, is, what, can you, what message can you give to the artists out there? Um, about this time, what you know, what words of wisdom or encouragement or um, can you share for all the artists that are working in their studios, all the musicians, you know, actors, everybody in the perform in the arts? Can you can you give some a little advice? Yes, absolutely. Very short, Victoria. I think that they have to go deeper in their experiment, never give up, give up with thinking and producing, never flat down into the market mm -hmm. um, uh, aspect. So never, uh, um, yes, uh, stay uh, um, flat without experimenting because obviously this artwork is going well into the market. Okay, this artwork, this piece of art is going well into the market. You can repeat it, but never give up with the experiments. And uh, uh, 
putting uh, and searching for new uh, way of expression in the art mm -hmm. um, and uh, another aspect that, that I like and I, I saw I experimented in my in my life is to travel travel very much and uh, travel a lot because I I experimented the reaction of American artists who came in our residency in Italy mm -hmm. and they were absolutely taken by history, by art, and they also evolved their right. way of thinking and producing. Mm -hmm. And it was absolutely the same for the Italian artists who had the impact with this new world, which is running, running and moving very fast, the liquid aspect of uh, California and Los Angeles. It was impacting them very, very much. So residency of artists, traveling a lot and make the research, asking um, important questions that can be universal, of universal interest for all over the world, all over human beings, and work on these aspects to produce new art. Mm -hmm. The research is the most important thing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you thank so you much for for, for all of that and your explanation. And um, thank you so much for your time. Um, it's so much appreciated. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's very hard for artists and even, you know, uh, students in school, whether they're in high school yeah. or college, yeah. to really have access to um, people who are experts in the field of art, such as yourself, people of authority who have who've spent their entire life dedicated to the arts. And um, I just really appreciate you taking the time to speak to me and sharing this. I thank you uh, so much for inviting me and uh, for, for giving me the possibility to, exp to express my thoughts about art. Uh, if we can help a young generation is the, the best we can do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful afternoon. And uh, you too. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank bye -bye. you very much. Bye. <laughs>